Cold shock proteins CSPs, are a group of highly conserved proteins that are found in a wide range of organisms, including humans. They are named for their ability to be rapidly produced in response to cold temperatures and other types of stressors. In humans, the best-known CSP is RNA-binding motif protein 3, RBM3, which is found in a variety of tissues and is thought to play a role in protecting cells from damage caused by ischemia, a lack of blood flow to a tissue, hypoxia, a lack of oxygen, and other types of stress. CSPs can be activated in humans through exposure to cold temperatures, typically below 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. When cells are exposed to these temperatures, they respond by producing heat shock proteins, HSPs, and CSPs, which help protect the cells from damage. CSPs are thought to work by stabilizing RNA molecules and preventing them from being degraded, which in turn helps to maintain cellular function. There are various ways that individuals can activate CSPs in their own bodies, including Exposure to cold temperatures. Taking cold showers or immersing oneself in cold water can activate CSPs and confer some of their benefits. Cryotherapy. Whole body cryotherapy involves exposing the body to extremely cold temperatures for a short period of time and has been shown to activate CSPs in some studies. Exercise. High-intensity exercise has been shown to increase the production of heat shock proteins and may also activate CSPs. Fasting. Some studies have suggested that fasting may activate CSPs, although more research is needed to fully understand this effect. While there is some evidence to suggest that activating CSPs may have health benefits, it's important to note that exposure to cold temperatures can also pose risks, particularly for individuals with certain health conditions, such as Raynaud's disease or cold urticaria. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new therapy or practice. While research on the benefits of activating cold shock proteins CSPs, in humans is still in its early stages, here are the potential benefits that have been suggested by various studies. Improved cellular function. CSPs are thought to help stabilize RNA molecules and prevent them from being degraded, which in turn helps to maintain cellular function. Increased stress tolerance. CSPs may help protect cells from damage caused by stressors such as hypoxia, ischemia, and oxidative stress. Improved cognitive function. Some studies have suggested that CSP activation may improve cognitive function and memory retention. Enhanced exercise performance. Cold exposure has been shown to increase endurance and performance in some athletes, and CSP activation may play a role in this effect. Increased fat burning. Cold exposure has been shown to increase the activation of brown adipose tissue, BAT, which is responsible for burning fat to generate heat. Reduced inflammation. Some studies have suggested that CSP activation may have anti-inflammatory effects, which could be beneficial for individuals with chronic inflammatory conditions. Increased immune function. Cold exposure has been shown to increase the production of certain immune cells, such as natural killer cells, which may help improve immune function. Reduced risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Some studies have suggested that CSP activation may help protect against neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Improved metabolic health. Cold exposure has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, which could be beneficial for individuals with metabolic disorders such as diabetes. Improved mental health. Cold exposure has been shown to have mood-boosting effects, 
and some studies have suggested that CSP activation may play a role in this effect. It's important to note that more research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits of CSP activation and the optimal conditions for achieving these benefits. Additionally, it's important to consider the potential risks associated with cold exposure, particularly for individuals with certain health conditions.